Yo, what's going Playboys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, as you guys can see, we're at a dyno. Well, at the shop dyno. Um, today, we're going to be throwing Dusty on a dyno again. We're going to up the boost. As you guys seen in the previous video, I don't know which video I'm going to drop first. This video, the last video that you guys probably just seen. So, I'm probably going to drop that video first. But uh, Dusty made 377 on the last time he was here. And uh, now, we're going to up the boost from 8 PSI to probably like 11, 12. And see what Dusty makes. Hopefully we get to keep the torque down because that's what kills the transmission. That's what kills the rods. And uh, yeah, man, I'm hope, hopefully open for like full something. <laughs> but yeah, man, we want to throw the car on a dyno. So let's see how it does. So hopefully you guys can hear me over my engine. Uh, I got the boost controller mounted right there. I went with a Turbo Smart boost controller. Um, I'm actually going to fix that mounting point. I don't really like it. I just have it right there for now, but uh, yeah, I got a Skunk 2 4 bar map sensor that I'm going to throw in the car once we get the car on the dyno, and then, uh, yeah, bro, should be, should be A1, should be A1, man, should be A1 Steakhouse, baby, let's do it, baby. Also, if you guys didn't know, I am getting tuned by Yosh, Yosh the GOAT, of course, he's the only one I let touch this car, so, uh, yeah, let's see what she make, hopefully we can crack 4, 410, 410-ish. 15-ish, and I'm good. I'm good with that. Five minutes later. Alright you guys, you guys seen Dusty made 431 and 314, well 317. I am extremely happy with those numbers. Uh, I can't wait to take this car on the street and see how she feels. Um, yeah, next step is building the trans and upping up the boost a little bit more again. So yeah, let's get that. Let's get that going. Now, let's go have some fun and do some pulls on the street. Uh, I'm not going to go too crazy because I, you know, just don't want to go too crazy. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't even know how to speak right now, bro. I'm, it's crazy, bro. Car Dusty's making 431, 433. I never thought I was gonna be able to do that. Yeah, let's go have some fun. All right, guys. I definitely know you guys can't see me because it's dark as hell. Oh man, I'm so surprised that Dusty made this amount of power, bro. Like it is honestly. Hopefully you guys can hear me and I'm not crazy loud. Bro, this person almost ran the stop sign, dog. Nah. Almost took Dusty out. But I'm not going to lie to you guys, I am hungry for some pools. I guess I'll give it one hit right here. Oh, I don't know what car is next to me, so. Bro, there's no second, there's no third. I don't want the power back down now. <laughs> this shit not fun. This shit just like da -da 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 -da. I need stickier tires, most definitely. It's 
crazy. I wish you guys could see me. I know you guys can't see me. And then I put the windows up to make it even worse. But uh, I'm just gonna talk about my experience, I guess, bro. Uh, Yosh, appreciate you a lot, bro. Always there for me, bro. Um, killer tune. This car feels amazing. I just need stickier tires, like ASAP. But yeah, bro, I am like super, super happy with the results. 431, 433 was the highest I seen. Um, 317 torque was the highest I seen. So yeah, bro, we're, we're like the goal was to try to keep the trans really, really happy. I think we did that. Um, you also wanted to keep the torque on the 300, which is what I wanted as well, just to keep the trans happy. Because as you guys know, uh, the K series trans are pretty, pretty weak. But it's okay because uh, the motor is going to get built. I am planning on, not the motor, the transmission is planning on getting built. Hopefully before the end of the year. That's my, that's my goal. Like personally my goal. I believe I could do it. Um, I basically have everything. I've been buying everything piece by piece. I just need to get third and fourth. Because that's, usually, that's what usually breaks on these cars. And uh, as you guys can see, I'm definitely not doing no 40, 40, 40 rolls. Sorry. Because the car just freaking spins, dog. It die just spin, dog. It crazy, cuz. Where you from, cuz? You say you from where? Oh, yeah. School. All right, so I was definitely supposed to end off the video in that last clip, but you know, I wanted to give a quick rundown, Dusty, for anybody who has questions. I know you guys are gonna have questions in the comments, but uh, yeah, man, so let's get into it. I would love to give you guys a pool video, but it's definitely about to pour, and I, I, don't, I don't understand Florida. Like, if you look over there, see if the camera can focus. If you look over there, you see the blue sky, right? And you look behind me, you see that. I don't understand Florida, bro. If you're gonna rain, just rain. Don't don't be sunny and raining. All right, so let's give you guys a quick, quick rundown on Dusty. So as you guys see, I have a cash can that is not catching anything. It is not hooked up to anything at all. I actually cut both of them because I wasn't using them. So yeah, this cash can is useless. Um, I do have a cash can that I am planning on running because Dusty makes 433. And Yosha was telling me that's a lot of horsepower on a, you know, a four banger. And uh, it's reliable, but you definitely want to vent off some pressure when you're doing pulls. And the only thing I have vented is the PVC. Well, not the PVC, the valve cover thingamajiggy. And then for my PVC, I just have a regular line that's going down past my alternator. So if any gunk comes out, it just falls down to the floor. And I don't really have any gunk that's falling out. Now I am planning on getting a cool looking catch can set up. Uh, it's not going to be nothing custom. Um, it's really hard to figure out where you're going to put a catch can in these knife gens. I see a lot of people take out the passenger mount, like, bracket itself, like this mount right here. People cut this off, and they'll get like a catch can set up for right here, but I can't do that because why the hell am I doing that? Or they get the max speed. Uh, catch can and it mounts up to right here to the top of the battery but I plan on re relocating the battery anyways so that would make no sense for me to, to get that so I am planning on something pretty cool I am going to be getting the level 7 oil catch can well oil catch oil catch top yeah I'm going to be getting one of those because from what I see it actually does work and a lot of people like them so yeah might as well try it Dusty is on 1300cc Alpha Injection Clinic injectors, um, full 85 custom fuel return, um, 6 a.m. lines, going back to 6 a.m. line into uh, into the stock feed line. She also has a Walbro 450 inside here right now. That's good, you know, for the amount of power I want to make. If I want to make 500, the, the fuel pump will definitely hold it. Um, the injectors will hold it as well. Uh, only thing that's probably limiting me, well, actually, no, I should be able to make 500 with the stock feed line. Yeah, so I should be set for 500 if I want to make that. Um, what else have I done? Uh, RBC manifold. 
I have a Turbo Smart blow off valve. I used to have a fake, uh, I used to have a fake tile, and I didn't like it because it was fake. So I wanted to get something real. Shout out to my boy Josh. He sent me over his uh, his blow off valve, and I actually like this more than I like the tile. It sounds more clean and polished, whatever that means when people say it. The kit is a Max Speed kit. Shout out to Max Speed for sending me over the kit. I have a hybrid racing fuel rail, good enough for whatever I want to do. Um, hybrid racing fuel pressure regulator. This thing is massive. I did not know it was this big, but this thing is huge. But uh, yeah, I have one of those. I need to take off this hybrid racing fuel gauge, fuel fuel pressure gauge because yeah, it's it's trashed. Um, what else? I have Hasport mortar mounts, I uh, have a innovative training mount, Hasport rear mount, and uh, yeah, full 85. Uh, I'm using a manual boost controller by Turbo Smart. This is what regulating the boost for me. Right now I have it set to 12 PSI. So this is one thing I want to inform you guys, if you guys did not know this, if your car is set to a certain PSI, once you get off the dyno and out to wherever you at it's gonna make probably a little bit more than wherever you set it to or exactly what you set it to so we had the boost controller set and it's pouring I had the boost controller set to 12 PSI. I had the boost controller set to 12 psi and on the dyno the, the most we hit was like a 11.7 so Dusty probably is making a little bit more horsepower on the street instead of 433 she probably made like 440 something something small like that but yeah she moved. She feel good, boy. I'm scared about the transmission because that's usually what goes out first. But if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you guys don't know that I have BF gears inside the room right now. Just waiting for them to be slapped on the car. I'm going to have Renato do it. So, yeah. Oh, by the way, uh, for the map sensor, I'm on a skunk bar. Skunk bar. I'm on a skunk 2 4 bar map sensor. Uh, I think that's good for like 44 PSI. <laughs> I'm never touching 44 PSI. Unless this car turns into like a track car, but 44 PSI is a lot. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for Dusty, bro. Postar 303576 uh, turbo with a three inch custom downpipe because the Max B kit comes with a two inch, two and a half inch. Um, yeah, that's about it for the for the heart of the beast. Uh, I'm on some all right tires. Uh, I'm on some Achilles, not Achilles, Accelera 65-1 Sport. Um, they they do all right for the power. They don't grip second and barely third. If I warm it up, if I warm it up, it definitely it definitely helps grip third, but it doesn't grip it the way I would like for it to be gripping. But yeah, that's what happens when you make more power. But yeah, Dusty moves. She feels great. If it wasn't about to rain. I will definitely be dropping another video probably the week after or or probably the video I'll probably drop a video after this if it wasn't raining of me doing pulls but it gotta rain today but all right guys this is where I'm gonna end off the video if you enjoyed it please leave a like comment subscribe follow your boy on Instagram my underscore got the soda and your boys out peace